Oh, wow, y'all. We got the conspiracy theory tier list, and we are going to check it out. We are live. If you guys want to come to the live stream Monday to Saturday, 11 a.m. EST, Twitch, YouTube, we're live on all platforms, which is just those two. Let's take a look at this video by Exported Air Music. Um, very known for making like AI Nikkei bangers. Their songs are pretty good. Not only that, they're usually making like I think the way they go about making tier list videos are pretty good. They let's keep it a buck. They, they it's not just like who's best unit in the game. Like conspiracy theory tier list is a pretty good idea. I feel like let's see. I'm really starting to get worried, Neon. I'm worried too. She hasn't killed me in like five days. Something must be really wrong with her. Do you think we should call Ingrid? Don't call Ingrid. She's dating Anderson, who's a failed clone of the Legendary Commander. And the Legendary Commander is actually Chatterbox. And Chatterbox is going to transform into a waifu. That's it. I'm calling Ingrid. What type of bullshit theory? <laughs> uh... <laughs> you would do that, Anise. Or should I say, former pop idol Pretty? I thought her name was supposed to be Beauty, as in Beauty and the Beast. The jury's still out on that. And given the track record of the English localization and voice direction team, there's like a 50-50 chance they're going to screw it up somehow. First off, I'm sure Shift Up will get around to fixing the incorrect early chapter voice lines and text soon. Probably. Maybe. Okay, it's been a year and a half and it's still worked. That shit's never getting fixed. But second, you need to stop obsessing over all these crazy fan theories. Most of them aren't even true. I mean, some are probably true. All of them are true, especially the ones that defy the laws of biology and robotics. No, they aren't, and I'll prove it. We're going to go through each of your crazy theories and rank them on a tier list of how likely they are. F tier means okay. it's basically impossible. C means there is some evidence, but it's still out there. And S tier means it might as well be confirmed. And after we disprove all of your wild speculation, you're going to take down your conspiracy theory wall. Deal? I'm going to open your eyes, Anise. You can't- I hope they change that picture. It's creeping me out. You can't see the truth because you still have your nymph. But I'm going to show you that Macamus Coat was the Rapture Queen the whole time. Ugh, let's just get started. That is Might the well dumbest shit I've ever- Macamus Coat? <laughs> With the one you just mentioned, then my backstory is that I was either a pop star when I was alive, or I'm the first Nikkei celebrity and former idol, Pretty, possibly also named Beauty. Um, Anise, this probably wasn't a good one to start with if you want to convince Rappy her conspiracy theories aren't true. Crap, I really shouldn't have put that first. Exactly! There's a mountain of evidence! You being Mustang's favorite, and him asking you to return to the sp- Yeah, I do think this is true. I do. I th I think not even like based on what they got going on Nikkei, but the way Nikkei promotes this character specifically, her and Shifty, um, I do think her life was something like that, right? Um, something close to that. So I I don't disagree with this. Just not even because, like I said, uh, the in game because of how Nikkei promotes this character for like live streams and shit. Spotlight, your advice session centered around an old idol group, and in your first anniversary special phone call on JP. You talk about how soda water helped you control your hunger when you were watching your weight in a previous career. Okay, it can roll into S tier. There's still debate over the specifics, like if I was an idol when alive or after first becoming an Ike. But it's pretty hard to deny the broader points of the theory. I'm not giving up though. Let's talk about your backstory, Rappy. How about the theory that you're Frisia? It's true, I am Frisia! No, you're not. Says who? The devs! They literally shot down the theory in an interview just a few months after the Red Ash event. They also felt the need to shut down the theory that Alice is Frisia, which didn't even make sense since Alice's Bond story shows how she became an Ike and that she wasn't Frisia. Gotcha players can't read me on, everyone knows that. They saw a rabbit icon and that was enough to baselessly say Frisia was Alice. But since the devs have officially shot down both theories, this goes in F tier. Well, what about Neon, huh? She's actually a spy. How's that a theory? I've been saying I'm a spy since we first met. Think about it, Anise. In the latest chapters, she has these strange super glasses that give her abilities she didn't even know she had. And it makes sense Ingrid would want a second pair of eyes on me in case Red Hood ever went wild. Face it, Anise, I'm a spy. S tier. You aren't a spy. If Ingrid actually wanted you to keep an eye on Red Hood, 
she'd have given you better instructions. And as far Probably. as we know so far, there's no... That girl not no spy. She's too... Bro, come on. Be for real, bro. Neon the spy is just so stupid. It, it, no, no. I mean, it's not out of the world, but it's like, no. Just no. Right? Just, no, it doesn't even sound right. ...indication she did or that she doesn't trust Rappy to be honest about the state of Red Hood. B tier, and that's being generous. Well, I have one theory you can't deny. The legendary commander is Anderson. She's got you there, Anise. You're not helping, Neon. I mean, Anderson could be a failed clone to the legendary commander, or a son, or... Okay, fine. Yes, it's almost guaranteed Anderson is the legendary commander. He looks identical, minus the sunglasses. Well, I mean, I wouldn't even say it's just off the looks, right? I mean, obviously, you could see the legendary commander is a lot younger than Anderson. Um... They just gave off the same exact vibe, to be honest. Maybe just like a, I would say Anderson is just like a more matured version of the legendary commander, right? Like that's just that that's the vibe I get off. So it's like, it's not out of the world. Um, it's literally just not. It's just not. He shares the same voice actor, and he has knowledge and a connection to the Goddess Squad that can't be explained in any other way. S tier, just like all my theories, including the next one. The player character, the commander, is a clone of Anderson. It's also S tier. Whoa, slow down. That's not as clear cut. The identical rare blood type, the amnesia, and Anderson's special interest make it clear the commander is a clone. There are other possible explanations. Yeah, it could be Anderson's son. Maybe even a secret love child between Anderson and Lilywise. I'm not, no, no, I'm not Anderson's son. I am not Anderson's son. I'm not. No. That last one is pretty out there, but the point is that there are potential alternate explanations. And without knowing for certain Anderson's identity, it makes determining the commanders more difficult. The commander's early memories of that mysterious girl also add some questions to the clone theory. It's still A tier. Fine, but just because that theory is likely doesn't mean they all are. I mean, what's this note, Rappy? Cecil is related to Lilywise? How does that make sense? They both have the same hair and eye color. I feel like that's the biggest reach ever, bro. And this is so funny because it brings me to a topic. I'm not even going to bring it up, but it was funny because it happened the other day where I said a character in Honkai Star Rail looked like it, I, she was like arguably, to me at least, I feel like she was like the hardest character. And then my friend tried to come in and say, like, blah, 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 and it's like the hair and the eye color. And like, I, I don't think, no. Because I might as well say, I mean, who else has like white hair and blue eyes? That's it? What more do you need? I feel like half the Nikkei fanbase supplies that same logic to every character that has the same hair color. I mean, what's exactly. next? Shifty is actually Helm's daughter? Yes! And don't you see? The Rapture stole Lilywise's head, made a clone, and the clone escaped to Eden! No, there's no evidence that Cecil is related to Lilywise, aside from the unusual hair and eye color match. I'll put it in D tier on the off chance you're cr D tier is crazy. That's an F. They're, I don't even think their eye colors are the same. Like, theirs is like darker. Right? Lily's is like darker. Crazy head cloning idea is true. But mostly because the continue the bloodline jokes would be hilarious if your theory turned out to be right. Let's mix things up and reveal the truth about some raptures next. For instance, Chatterbox is a failed male Nikkei experiment that's been corrupted. Makes sense to me. He can talk. That doesn't mean he's a Nikkei. The only Rapture Line forces we've seen talk are corrupted Nikkeis, i.e. heretics. Why wouldn't it make sense that Chatterbox is a heretic? Was a male Nikkei? Um, hmm, I mean, I wouldn't say a, a, maybe a male Nikkei. I probably wouldn't say, I'd probably say like, I don't even think, I, I don't think I'd say human either. I mean, maybe it could be um, a male Nikkei. I don't know. Heretic. Specifically, a male Nikkei. I mean, yes, that's true. But there are other possibilities. But it's not impossible. C tier. He might even be the legendary commander that's been corrupted. That's insane. Don't try and pile even more crazy on. Take your C tier and be happy. Keep your voice down, Anise. She's listening. 
Who's she? Enik! Who's actually sick so? I mean, that's probably true. Okay. We know Sixo is an entity that exists only online, can't be taken down despite the central government's best efforts, and has eyes and ears everywhere. It's got to be Enik. It'd be pretty lazy for Shift Up to build up this new villain just for it to turn out to be a character we already know. And even if Sixo is an already existing character, there are other possibilities. Hell, it could be Mustang. He already has his fingers in the underworld and is probably the most powerful member of the Big Three. Well, I agree, it would be nice. Mother, after a big three, it's just being mean, bum. To have a new proper villain in the arc that isn't an emo terrorist with the worst SSR skill kit in the game, Sixo being Anik would explain a lot. C tier. Neon, you've never sounded smart. Don't you mean sounded so smart? No, but your sudden burst of active brain cells is a huge plot twist. A surprise, like the good guy being the villain. And even more likely, the villain being a good guy, just like Oswald. You think Oswald is a good guy? No, no, no. 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 Hell no. What? No. No, he, no, not even, no. He cannot be. I don't, I refuse. Not after what he did. No, I, I refuse. I don't even give a damn if you're taking orders. If he was a good guy and he was just taking quote unquote orders, he would have done something better. Bro, I, I don't, I, I cannot accept it, y'all. I'm sorry. I will never accept this. I hate this character. We better tell Dorsey to call off her vendetta in that case. Listen, he locked out the Goddess Squad to protect them. He knew if they came into the Ark, they'd discover its secret evil power source. So he locked them out to protect them and use them to eventually fight the Ark. Wow, I knew he wasn't all bad after that Red Ash event. This theory is S tier. Slow down, Neon. While Red Ash does establish that Oswald admired the Goddess Squad, that doesn't mean he knew what the Ark's power supply was. Bro, or everybody, that he everybody, 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 everybody admired them. I mean, how could you not? Everybody did. Kennedy used the squad to destroy it. But the reason he gave to Dorothy for shutting the door turned out not to be true. He said the Ark's technology was advancing and they would soon be able to build stronger Nikkei's than the Goddess Squad. But even at the time, he had to know that wouldn't be possible. And Red Ash is clearly trying to repaint his character as a good guy. Exactly. While the specifics might be unclear, what is clear is that Oswald had an ulterior motive to lock out the Goddess Squad. Top of B tier. Ugh, this isn't going how I planned. Okay, how about a theory I know isn't true? Nylister is Red Hood, or at least is made up of parts of her. Makes sense, they're both red. Remember how I talked in the Cecil theory about how- No, just, just no, I'm, no. Well, the player base thinks anything that's the same color must be related? Yeah, this is that. Sorry, Rappy, it makes no sense that Nylister is Red Hood. First, you already have Red Hood's core in you, and more importantly, we already know some of Nihilister's backstory, and it has nothing to do with Red Hood. F tier. Well, if Nihilister isn't Red Hood, then Grave must be Pine. Again, there's basically zero evidence for that. Chat. I'm... I don't think that's a reach. Chat, I do not think that's a reach. I really don't think that's a reach. That, except for the matching hair color and the fact that she has one of the seven dwarfs, which suggests she has a connection to the goddess squad. However, there are plenty of other possible explanations, including her being a failed Grimm's model, small white old body before her mind switch, or just an entirely new character. So it's extremely unlikely, but not impossible like the Nihilister theory. Sounds like D tier. Chat, yeah, she, I mean, she's dead, sure, but it's like we all thought Obito was dead, but then look what happened. It's not hard to it's not hard to put a switcheroo. You're just saying that because you're being controlled by aliens, which is ironic because my latest theory says raptures aren't actually aliens like the central government says they are. This has been a theory since before the game even launched, that the raptures are actually a creation by humans that got out of control. However, while the central government does lie about basically everything, there are still some problems with this theory. Lost relics show that at the time, media all over the world reported the arrival of the raptures as an alien invasion, and not yes. just media organizations that might have been able to be controlled, but also random civilians. Are they only are like two and because, I mean, sure. 
who had no reason to lie about what they were seeing. You have to admit though, the latest story bits surrounding the Ark's power source raises a lot of questions about the true origins of the Raptures and the Ark. Not to mention the mystery surrounding how Nikkei's and Raptures are made. It's at least C tier. And it brings me to my final, greatest theory. That the power source of the Ark is the Rapture Queen. Oh my gosh! I knew it! Yes, Neon, accept the truth. Okay. The Rapture Queen is an alien that crash landed on Earth. Humans captured it and turned it into a power supply, and that started the Rapture War. Wait, didn't you just say the Raptures weren't aliens? Raptures aren't aliens? That's a crazy conspiracy theory you got there, Anise. You should get some it's help. A, it's a real head scratcher, chat. This video is a real head scratcher. Somebody, I've never even thought once about any of these theories, to be honest. Oh my god. Look. The power source of the Ark is clearly something evil and almost definitely connected to the Raptures and even possibly their origin. But the idea that it's the Rapture Queen is crazy. First, in Red Ash, it's established that late in the war, the Queen was on a space elevator, not underground where the Ark was being built. That also means humanity hadn't captured her and that's not what started the war. Second, if the central government had control over the Rapture Queen, why wouldn't they use her to either destroy the Raptures, or at the very least keep them away from the Ark? And third, the heretics in Chatterbox seem to know where the Queen is and interact with her. If that was true, why haven't they ever mentioned she's in the Ark or attempted to rescue her? And Valid. how could they have taken Lily Weiss's head to the Queen if she was already in the Ark? Counterpoint, Red Hood wanted to destroy the Ark. Why? Because the Rapture Queen was inside. And for all we know, the Queen on the Space Elevator may have been a second one that was made after humanity captured the first one. Rap, you gotta stop talking. Rap, he do. She do. S tier. F tier. The Ark's power source is almost definitely a very powerful and important Rapture, or at least related to their origins. But is it the Queen? That's less likely. But still, it would be such a cool reveal. I'm going to go with B tier, mostly because I want- B tier? Want to believe the truth is out there. Are you done, Rappy? Have you gotten all your theories out? Will you go bathe for the first time this week? Oh, that reminds me. I have so many theories about the commander's shower. It's hiding its secrets right off screen in the command center. And that's it for the tier list. And I have I have a theory then, Chad. I have a theory. I have a crazy theory. Zeuxis was always right about every incident in Nikkei. And the people just hate on him because he's just lucky not a bad theory i'm always right but because i'm lucky they hate i don't think that's a bad theory not mm -mm, not one bit i think that's an s tier theory but that's a good video y'all so you guys let me know what you think honestly it was a quite of a head scratcher for me personally right um just because like it's a video where it's like I, I would never have to I, I, I don't I would never think of these theories never have actually so it's like Right, it's like kind of a head scratcher hearing them for the first time and then considering all the possibilities But you guys let me know what you think I'll leave the original video down below in the uh, you know comments and stuff like that It's going to be your boys the X's in the chat you guys can catch me live and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace